Y'all remember all that shit that y'all was talking about how it's insecure for you to not want your partner to be friends with the opposite sex? Well, this is a clear case. Blair Underwood marries his best friend of 40 plus years a year after divorcing his wife of 27 years. Now, I'm not saying that she's the cause of their divorce, but I can guarantee you that every time he was having issues with his wife, he was running directly to her. And he didn't just marry his friend because she was there for him. He also married her because he was attracted to her. And you don't just gain attraction for people overnight unless they have something to offer you. Now, you can be oblivious if you want to, but as for me and my house, either you're going to be with me or you're going to be with your female friend. But you can't have both. Peace. You are now tuned in to Live on Broadway Podcast, the number one relationship podcast in the world. <laughs> so spicy. <laughs> money coming, money Clear. Mike, 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 Mike,
on Broadway Podcast. Like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. We just made, uh, we almost at 12,000 subscribers uh, on YouTube, Broadway the Giant. Tap in and get in tune with what we're doing on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and everywhere else podcasts are available. Shout out to my YouTube viewership. Uh, Lolo, I see you. Sasseries, I see you. Terika, I see you. Big Business of Guam. You hear me? I see you, ladies. Uh, shout out to my... Excuse me, I'm, I'm doing my best. Shout out to my clubhouse uh, a listenership. Shout out to Angel Allison and the Giants that's going to tap in. We are on Facebook. Shout out to Balancing. I see you guys in the comment section of Instagram. Uh, and I see Balancing. Cat, I see you. Uh, 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 De Debonair, I see you. Debonair, I see, I see S underscore 1919. I see you. I see you guys. I see Taj, Taj, I'm, I'm probably saying it wrong. Blame it on my mouth, not my heart. Uh, I'm just horrible with names. Shout out to everybody tapping in, though. Um, tonight, tonight, per usual, we're having a conversation. We're having a conversation. And the conversation that we're going to be having this evening is brought to you in part by Blair Underwood. Now, just for a quick backstory, if you guys don't know who Blair Underwood is, he played in a lot of dope movies. Uh, one that immediately comes to mind is uh, Set It Off. Shout out to Set It Off. I think that's like a cult classic in our, in our, in our um, community. You know, so shout out to Blair Underwood. Um, but in, in a few dope other, other, other movies, he was on, um, wasn't Blair Underwood? No, he wasn't on Grey's Anatomy. What, was he, what else was he on, Allison? Um, I do believe he was in, um, what is that movie? He was in, uh, on one of the museum movies, uh, where, he, where the, he was beating up the wife. Yeah, The Grit. The, the, yes, yes, yes. The Grit. I don't remember which museum movie, but it was one of those, um, Medea Happy Family, Family Reunion. Medea's Big Happy Family, family Reunion. reunion. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so you know, Blair's been outside for years on years on years. And and he's he's like probably probably like my mom's generation, like young heartthrob. Like they used to throw their panties up at uh 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 Blair Underwood if he if they probably could. So Blair Underwood was married for Allison, can you give us a little bit of the story if you know? Yes, he was married for 27 years to Desiree, and um, they recently separated and then subsequently divorced, and um, he fell in love and decided to be in a relationship. He recently got engaged to his best friend of 41 years. So 41 years, so 41 years means that he knew her um, when he was a child, so he's in his early fifties. So that what means that about? he, yeah. So that means he knew his, she knows his wife. Mm. Obviously, if they were in a relationship. So now the question is, <laughs> did something happen? But they were very close friends. It seems like she respected the relationship, or did she? That's mm. the question. We're gonna have this conversation. Uh, I... Go for it, Angel, please. So I have to give y'all my Blair Underwood story because I. <laughs> Like so many women in America, talk <laughs> their underwear. Two story, two story. I am, I'm, I'm in the car with my fiance at the time, and okay. I hear ninety eight is on Kiss. I'm listening to Wendy, and I hear her announce that Blair got my, he was married. Okay, this is a time ago. I screamed like somebody did something to me. Um, he crashed the truck. Um, yeah crashed the car dead into like almost hit the tree um because i screamed so blair underwood and i have we share a lot we share oh. a lot. i love you blair I oh. Love you. oh okay um shout out to blair and and um you know i'm sure he's on clubhouse somewhere if he's not you can uh if he is you can uh cordially just wave to him um angel and uh, i'm sure he will accept your 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 wave so um blair underwood this is going to this this conversation I think is going to take a lot of different peaks and valleys going to have a lot of peaks and valleys and a lot of different turns but more importantly we want to have an honest conversation. Blair Underwood was with his wife for a very long time. Meanwhile, he was maintaining a friendship with the opposite sex for a very long time. 
coincidentally or not, the marriage ends, and a year and a half later, he ends up proposing to the 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 best friend, and now he's engaged to get married to her. I'm going to play a clip, I'm going to play a video, and I want you guys to respond to it. Um, it's kind of hard for me to speak, so I'm resting heavily on you guys' commentary, and I'm going to do my best to chime in and, and, and pipe up with you guys. But listen, there needs to be some accounting, accounting, accounting for while I sit my live on Broadway, shameless plug water. <clears throat> okay. Right, um, live on Broadway podcast. Let's roll the tape. Y'all remember all that shit that y'all was talking about? How it's insecure for you to not want your partner to be friends with the opposite sex? Well, this is a clear case. Blair Underwood marries his best friend of 40 plus years a year after divorcing his wife of 27 years. Now, I'm not saying that she's the cause of their divorce. But I can guarantee you that every time he was having issues with his wife, he was running directly to her. And he didn't just marry his friend because she was there for him. He also married her because he was attracted to her. Mm. And you don't just gain attraction for people overnight unless they have something to offer you. Hello? And you can be oblivious if you want to. But as for me and my house, either you're going to be with me or you're going to be with your female friend. But you can't have both. Peace. I'm going to play it again. Did y'all hear it, Clubhouse? I'm a, no. I'm, I'm, I'm going to play it again. I'm going to play it again. Check it out. Y'all remember all that shit that y'all was talking about, how it's insecure for you to not want your partner to be friends with the opposite sex? Well, this is a clear case. Blair Underwood marries his best friend of 40 plus years a year after divorcing his wife of 27 years. Now, I'm not saying that she's the cause of their divorce, but I can guarantee you that every time he was having issues with his wife, he was running directly to her. Mm. And he didn't just marry his friend because she was there for him. He also married her because he was attracted to her. And you don't just gain attraction for people overnight unless they have something to offer you. Now, you can be oblivious if you want to, but as for me and my house, either you're going to be with me or you're going to be with your female friend. But you can't have both. Peace. I'm going to let that one sit right there for a moment, and we're going to have a discussion. Because my question to you, Giants, are, first and foremost, are you okay with your significant other having the opposite sex friends? Let's wake it up. Fire in the hole. Fire. Don't play with me. Let's have a conversation. What up, Bambi? Let's have a conversation. Bambi, pop up here with me, Bambi. Um, I yield my mic to Angel and Allison first. Tap in with me, Clubhouse. How you feel? Can Are you ladies cool with your significant other having the opposite sex as friends? Uh, Janice, I need you right here with me. Tap in with me, Angel. Allison. Um, you know what's so crazy? I was for a while, but I realized that something happened to me with that type of relationship. So I was always for it because I have a best friend or a friend that I've known since I was, I guess, 11, a male friend. And it's so crazy that everything was cool until um, I shared a little, like, oh, things were a little wacky at home. And then he shot his shot. So I'm like, nah, mm. I'm going to have to ride with it. It's a nah for me. And some say I was in shock because this whole time I was like, but yeah, like I feel like what happened in that situation, the bat signal went up and everybody ran. You know, um, as far as it being his best friend, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There was a lot of conversations and I would bet everything on that centered around their marriage, you know, and what went wrong. So, so then so then you're not okay with having your significant other having opposite sex best friend? No, nah, not anymore. Okay. I was until right I had that Situation that, that situation got it Allison tap in with me one time um hmm. what happens before me happens before me however anything that I attain present day I I would need to 
to recognize and acknowledge some boundaries that are created. Um, I do have male friends and we definitely don't cross that line out of respect for our, our relationships. And um, yeah, I, I just, it, it's very, very, very um, touchy. So I'm gonna just leave that right there. So you're gonna leave that right there. Okay, okay. I'm tapping in. I'm tapping in. You know, don't don't because get. Because it's complicated. I, it's I, complicated. I, I, I hear you. I'm not pushing. I'm not pushing. I'm not pushing. We got. We are joined by Bambi. We have Janice up here. Ladies, welcome to the pod. It's a pleasure to have you, ladies, here with me this evening. Whenever I have you. Um, you ladies always, always are impactful. Uh, I want to start with Bambi, respectfully. Uh, Bambi, would you be okay with your significant other having an opposite sex friend? So, in a perfect world, yes. You know, I don't, I, I would like, you know, to think that my significant other could have friends of the opposite sex and confide to, like, you know, a female. But we don't live in a perfect world. And, you know, people are human and feelings get involved. So to be like more proactive and preventative, hell to the no. You know what I mean? I would like to. I would like to think that my my significant other can have friends with a female, but you know he's still a man, and you know it's it's just not a good idea. Wendy Williams always said, "Men and women can never be friends. Mm. They can't. Not I mean unless one of them's gay. You know what I'm saying? Like the friend is gay. You know what I'm saying? Then that's different." But um, there's just going to be a matter of time where someone could catch feelings, you know what I mean? And then... Or probably already have feelings and conceal them and opt out for the friendship. Yeah, again, like, there's levels to it. Like, you know, you can have a business relationship. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like a friendship. I, I, I don't expect... My husband can have acquaintances, you know what I'm saying? Like... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and, and I, honestly, even I wouldn't mind like a female that, you know, he feels comfortable confiding. You know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. I get but you. There's, but, but, but having like a, a a healthy distance is important. And so those lines can get crossed. Got it. Got it. Oh, my God. She coming in hot. Tap in with me, Janice. How, how you feel? Are, are you okay with your significant other having the opposite sex as a friend. Lolo, um, um, Terika, I need to see y'all in these comment sections. YouTube viewership, tap in with me. What up, Jay? Good evening. Good um, evening to you, Queen. Yes, it's good to be on again. Um, I'm, I'm up now. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm single now, but um, I think that I agree with Bambi. Like there has to be in a perfect world, then it wouldn't be a problem. Sure. But we're so flawed, right? And temptation is real. And so even like now when I deal with my friends who are married, if, if their husband sends me a DM, the girl's on it. Like my friend is on it. Like just as that everybody's on the same page when I talk to my pastor his wife is on that like I just think you have to have a level of respect because we can't put our trust in the flesh at all mm. when you are attracted to one another that's just how the makeup is and I think it's difficult like I don't know like I remember there was this um guy that I got cool with recently and he said that he doesn't think um a man and a woman should be friends because somebody's always gonna like the other mm. and it's just never going to be a friendship. It's always going to be like somebody has an ulterior motive or, you know, it's always a little extra. So I don't know. I think that it's a, it's a very dicey subject and I wouldn't want my man to have a female friend that he's hitting up, you know, on the side or calling on the way to work. Like, yo, I got a situation. I, I wouldn't want that. I think that I should be involved. He should, you know, like we should all be on the same text or whatever. Cause things can go left very easily. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And everybody, everybody, bro, wait, everybody doesn't have self-control. Wake yeah. it up. And that's just the truth. That's just the truth. The whole Sometimes I truth. gotta catch myself and be like, let me pull back. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're so, human and, and, and you're entitled to it. But the thing that absolutely. I like that you said is that is that 
shit, sometimes I got to catch myself, right? I, I get it. I, 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 I 100% get it. Um, we also joined by a quail. How you, how you say your name? Um, quail, at quail. At quail. At quail. Mm-hmm. Um, beloved, I'm happy you up here with me because you are, I have Oren on Clubhouse. I'll get to Oren in a moment. Uh, are you okay? Would you be okay with your significant other having the opposite sex as a friend? Um, we're, we're talking Blair Underwood. Well, I'm, I'm, me personally, I don't really have an issue with it, but I understand like the the fact that most of the time people have ulterior motives behind it. Mm. Like most of the time, if it's a the, the, the if it's a dude, he just waiting patiently and just waiting for the green light. He waiting for he waiting for somebody to. For the, for the girl to give him the green light to go ahead and let him let Give him, me the you know. green light. Give me yeah. just one night. Ain't that what he yeah. said? When I'm ready to go right that. now. Ain't that what he said? Right. They're waiting for the chance. They're waiting for the opportunity. And because uh, a lot of, like, like, let's be for real, a lot of dudes are, are afraid of re- rejection. Mm. So they'll, they'll rather not mess the situation up. And, um, just stay patient with it in case the person just decides, hey, I, I, I'm, I'm interested now or I'm in, I'm in the mood for it and I just need somebody at the time. So um, I, I do, it's, it's very thin. You do have some people that are, are honest and that will, will not cross that line, but who wants to take that risk with somebody that they care about? Right. Somebody that they say that um, it's something that's precious to you. You don't just sit there and <laughs> sit in the middle of nowhere for, for anybody just come get it. You should want to protect it and, and make sure that um, that 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 thing isn't placed in in harm's way. Um, Terika, Terika, she said on YouTube, she said, "My man can't have any female friends." Hello. Hey, listen, I respect the honesty. Cash Cash Crusade said it's a hard decision, but if he has a female best friend before the relationship, you can't say anything. You have to just deal and let it be. Mm-hmm. Oh man, there's yep. a lot of comments coming in. Here, here's what I think, right? I think that I think that um oh, oh all right, here's a new idea before I give my original idea. Sometimes sometimes I think the opposite sex, meaning if if you're in a relationship, sometimes some women, some men like to have attractive best friends because it intimidates or, or it makes their significant other feel some sort of way. You get what I'm saying? Some, some, yeah. Sometimes sometimes people people like to make you feel inferior, right? Like, yeah. oh, my, my best friend, my best friend, look, you, you know your best friend is attractive. So now you bring them around your girl or, 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 yeah, let's say your new girl. And now, yeah, my best friend is attractive. So automatically you start low key giving your, your new partner insecurities and shit that they probably didn't even, you understand me? Don't even know what's going on and, and why that's happening. I'm trying my best. I got 17 stitches in my mouth. I had oral surgery. Just bear with me, Giants. I know you probably can't understand or, or I'm probably not saying things a no, lot you're of- you're speaking good. All right, thank you. Um, that, th- That's on that side. On the other side, what up, Dupreme? On the other side of things, I think that um, sometimes boundaries need to be created, right? I think Kat said that earlier, or somebody said that earlier. It's not an easy task, and it doesn't make you insecure, less than, inferior, or any of those things if you're not okay with your significant other having, obviously, sex with best friends. You get what I'm saying? We're going to get away from the words. We're going to get away from the controlling, all the other stuff, because it doesn't mean any of that. It just means that you have a, a strong disdain, a strong disdain for that. Probably, probably because you had some bad experiences or run-ins too, right? Run-ins to that, bad run-ins. Um, I think that when we're having a conversation about Blair Underwood, honestly speaking, guys, I honestly feel like, and maybe it wasn't, because sometimes co- coincidences coincidences are just that coincidences, and they sound crazy. Maybe there wasn't anything. I'm not betting, in, I'm not putting my money on that though. I think there was something there, and the and the wife, the wife, I mean, the best friend was checking for Blair, or Blair was checking for the best friend. And when an opportunity presented itself, because they was married for a long time, they ceased the day, 
say what is it called say say la vie they they cease the day they cease the moment you get me another time a ramification of having a female best friend or opposite sex best friend is somebody probably like each other a little bit more but somebody probably curves somebody and because you got curved now you just okay with being in second place let's wake it up you okay with being in second place and i'm going to take it however i could get it you get me and I particularly think that that's not a safe space to be in. But um, Blair Underwood marries his ex-best friend and made her his fiance and divorced his wife. Was, did she, did the ex-best friend, now fiance, play a role in them getting a divorce? Who knows? Obviously. Obviously. The Giants are sounding I had, off. I had, a, I had a friend like that before where she was the girlfriend of one guy and then she uh, left. What was that? A best knife? Friend. With his best oh, friend. My bad. I'm she cheated on him with, him with him as best friend. <laughs> and that, that ruined that guy. That like really affected. Say that, that again. I'm, I'm sorry. Say, say that again. You had, a, you had a friend. Say that again, Bambi. I had a friend growing up and she was dating this guy and she cheated on him and married his best friend. Wow. And, mm -hmm. and she ran away with him and his best friend and the guy that she cheated on him with, I mean, that got her original boyfriend, like that really damaged him. It really fucked his ass up. But a lot of times too, on the back of that, we don't realize how fucked up we come into situations and make people. Well, for me, I would say that looking at the guy that she ended up with, that was really her true love. I won't sit here and no, act like that. I'm was. saying something you know different. I mean? I'm saying something different. I'm mm -hmm. saying sometimes we come into situations and we fuck people. Excuse my vulgarity. We mess people up. We mess them up. Yeah. You get me? Mm -hmm. Like, like, like you create insecurities, you, you create trust issues, you create these things because these things never existed prior to you. Mm -hmm. So we got to be very selective and mindful about the people that we allow to impede our personal space. Right. Um, to that, you say what, uh, 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 at Quill? Um, I agree, man. Most of the time that people people will be fine before they meet certain people. And then once they leave them, they'd be like the most damaged person ever. And it gets, it, it, it'd be very hard for them to start trusting people again. Um, you know, it, 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 it gets to a point where they, they almost got a paranoia about everything. Mm. And it's like, mm -hmm. we have to be careful about this, man, because it's just like, no, just be honest. Like if you know that there's certain things that you want, then you should tell that person beforehand. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I just think this is this is why we have so much turmoil in relationships and otherwise is because yeah. people don't know how to be honest, man. Hey, listen, 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 just just real quick. Um, the beat building on Clubhouse, they tapping in, they got something to say. I'm gonna throw it to Clubhouse. We got D, we got Oren, we got we got we got um DJ Sweets in here tapping. Dupreme on a phone call. When he get off that phone call, he gonna tap and weigh in. We having a conversation about Blair Underwood marrying his his best friend for a few centuries, and um <laughs> um and he left his wife for whatever reason. They re they released a PR statement. So I want to get it from Clubhouse. How do you guys feel? D. Lopez, uh, how do you guys feel? Are, are you guys okay with your significant other having an opposite sex ass friend? Black Queen, pull up, Queen. Are you guys okay with having your the opposite sex ass friends? And your significant other having opposite sex as friends. But also, uh, do you think that Blair Underwood fiance which was his best friend they was that, that they was checking for each other prior to the divorce tapping with me clubhouse i mean that's a great question he probably did have a deeper connection with his friend um there was beyond sexual and attraction and everything and they built that up over years maybe 30 40 years you don't know how long they've been friends so i mean when things were falling out with his wife he, 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 who better to gravitate to than your best friend? Um, as far as me um, and, and my significant other and her having male friends, 
I think in a relationship, you got to be confident. You can give somebody rope, and if they decide to hang themselves, that's on them. But you got to be confident. You got to be assertive. That's attractive. Like, if I'm insecure and I'm worried about her and her friend, then I, I think I look like the, the bad one. But if I'm confident and secure on my lady and I trust that I have friends and, you know, and, and what do they call them, work husbands and all that, for me, that's more me. That's more like I'm not belittling myself by being insecure. So, yeah, but you still got to be, you know, you got to, you can't be no, you got to be conscious. You got to be observant. You give them rope and it's up to them to hang themselves if they decide to. But that's just me um, speaking my mind. <laughs> no, I, I feel you. I, I'm personally not okay with the work wife, work husband. Words have meaning. You get me? I'm 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 not okay with it. I, I think that I, I think that it's okay to have a friend at work that that you you guys you know work well together. But 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 when it's when I come to pick you up, I don't want to be I, I nah, I don't, don't want to be confronted or, or or met with your work husband. <laughs> I don't I don't I'm okay with it. And, and 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 you know to each its own. But I like the confident part that you spoke of, um, Lopez D Lopez. I, I like what you said right there because you do have to be confident. But confident in I think the confidence should be exuded in the in the in the in the space of wanting your significant other to feel safe and your and, and, and feel like you're a safe haven for her or him, right? I don't think that should be to combat anything that's impeding the relationship from the opposite sex. What do you say to that, D Lopez? I mean, that's great insight. Yeah, you definitely want to be a safe haven for your lady. Um, you know that's that's the goal, right? Uh, but I don't I don't know. Like it's weird because every like, most of us work in environments where we work with the opposite sex. Most of us go out like to restaurants and, and and social settings when you're dealing with the opposite sex. And my thing is, if you have respect for your partner, you're not gonna cross any boundary. But it's like when I'm not with her 24 seven and she's not with me 24 seven, she should trust me to to converse with that the, the conversation and that'd be that and the same way i should trust her so that's where the confidence um comes in and like, i should be confident enough that um, and secure enough in my lady and in my relationship to know that she could go out with her girlfriends or go to a, a you know a, a social gathering and then not be an issue so you know and what do you have to say to that bro hey, that, that do good was that a good answer i mean it, yeah <laughs> I, it, it, yeah it was definitely a good answer definitely a good answer you know, um, let's share the wealth. Welcome, Shantae. Welcome, Shantae. Uh, D, D, uh, DWI, how you feel, beloved? D, you buy your money? Right, I'm good. You go. Yeah, I'm good. Another screen. It's okay. Um, yeah, I'm good. This, so, so this this topic is um, I I have. I have been friends and, and I have long lasting friendships that um with a few people that you even know that that that, that I'm just cool with now and sure. there is no there's no nothing that, that outside of conversation is something that's going on, you know, real life stuff happens, we know we can get on the phone and talk with each other and, and, and keep it a, a thousand with each other. Mm -hmm. So it, it though the Billet Underwood situation seems like maybe something underhand something was going on it could have been it could have been they had one of them things where they he gave his wedding um he, excuse me, wedding, he gave his marriage all that he said he was going to give it and maybe he made a promise to himself that if, if it never worked worked out then that was probably the person that he really wanted to be with and they were just going to do that i i don't know you know what what led that but how many years you said they were together over 20 30 years mm -hmm. yeah so um i mean we Certain things run their course, and maybe that maybe that was that. Like, just, mm. would you have rather be somebody else? Like, or is it because the the closeness of that person makes it seem like it was awkward? Because I think we could look at it like two different two sides, and maybe something was going on the whole time, and then they just got to the point where they just wanted to be together, or maybe there was nothing, but they 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 made that pact, which a lot of us did. I don't know if you never made the pact with somebody else. Somebody made it with you that. You know, if we don't end up with somebody that we're gonna be together or something like that. I mean, you don't have to answer that Broadway, but um, yeah, um, <laughs> I've heard it. <laughs> I've heard it. I've heard it before, and and maybe he just acted on it because he he's who he is. So he's like, you know what, I'm out of here, and now I'm back in that. At least he's still married, though. He's still a black man that's married, right? Can't be married. I that. mean, that did. I, I see what you did there. I, I like it. I like it. Black man that's married. 
you, you, I see what you did there. You turn you turn lemons into lemonade. I see what you did there. Um, Sean, but yeah, as mm-hmm. far as a friend, well, real fast, as far as a friend, uh, me allowing um, my significant other to be friends with, you know, other people, like I, I'm not with uh, D. Lopez on the work, <laughs> the work booze and all that too. But I mean, what you don't know won't, and you know, you won't, you won't know. And that, that, you know, that's just what goes out on that work goes on that work. But I would say that. Um, I think it's a respect thing of, though. Once your significant other yeah, yeah. knows how you are and knows how you move, even if you're not there, they should be always exemplifying, uh, examining respect. I agree. I agree with that. So, yeah, I'll just wrap up here just by saying that um, I'm always okay with, I'm, I'm on the lines with, 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 with David. I'm, on, I'm okay with um, my significant other having friends or saying that they're cool with, other guys because I don't like people trying to control my friendships that I have on my side. Now, sure. as long as the boundaries are, are there and everything is clear, I can read the room. I, I, I mean, I got enough experience to know when it's, when it's something or when it's nothing or sometimes I just don't care too much to even think about it because you just won't never know anyway. Well, but I just try to be the best person that I can be so that, that it, it'd be her loss if, if she decided to shake and move and rattle. Um, the, the interesting thing that you said, and, and you dropped a few balls. Shout, shout out to my guy, DWI. You dropped a few balls. The, a, a very interesting part of what you just said, though, was I wouldn't want that to be on my side. And I'm always I'm always conflicted by that. Like when people are okay with their significant other doing things, is it because you want the green light to do the things that you want to do, or are you really a, exactly? You get that, what I'm that's saying? It. That's it. Because I already have these relationships. Right. I already so, have these relationships that I know that that they're safe. Like she's safe because it's not nothing but a friendship now. But I'm not gonna try to justify and or try to tell her that oh you must be effing this dude. You curse on your show. You're not. You must be fucking this dude. Um, because that's your, y'all, 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 y'all too cool. Y'all be on the phone and talking. Like I be on the phone talking to certain people and it, it, it ain't about nothing. Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. it ain't about nothing at all. So I try to give that, that, um, that, that, um, that grace, but you know, and I've never been an insecure or over secure, not even insecure. Everybody's got a little insecure in them. If you got a bad chick, you're going to be insecure, but I've never been over secure to the point where I'm like over insecure where I'm just like, Worried about every single thing that happens on her phone. I need to look over her phone. Like, God, do what you do. Like, we are gonna be all right. Yeah. Either way, we are gonna yeah. be all right. Yeah. Very interesting. Um, tap in with me, Bambi at Quell. You know, you guys can communicate to each other too. Clubhouse, Instagram. If somebody's saying something, you guys got a mm. question. Feel free Jeez. to ask. Well, yeah, not, I, I I agree with on you. I, I got you, Orin. Give me one second. No, I was just saying I agree with him on that. Um, I, I think um, sometimes you can be, over, like you said, overly secure where you just constantly got something running your mind. And is there are they doing this? Are they doing that? Uh, what about this? What about that? And it's like you can't control what someone else does. The only thing person you can control is you. Like, and that's yeah. what I tell my wife all the time. It's like, look, up. Up. yeah, mm-hmm. we only can control ourselves. And you don't want to put so much into another person that you have a de- damn near have a nervous breakdown should they leave you or if, if they should pass away. We're human beings. Yeah. What's the difference? Things that happen to us. So we got to love in moderation so we don't obsess over somebody and, and cause ourselves damage. I think, I think Nipsey, I think Nipsey, I think uh, Laura London shared something that Nipsey said once upon a time. R.I.P. the, the late great uh, Nipsey Hussle. She said that Nip said that um, we don't own nobody. We just borrowing them. For however we choose to be there in a life, we only borrowing one another because at the end of the day, like Aquel said, either we pass away or we just borrowing each other's time. If we pass away, if there's another significant other after you, if, if there's, you know, it could be a multitude of reasons for you guys to ultimately not be together. You get what I'm saying? Maybe you guys borrow each other time for kids and then you guys go your own separate ways, right? That's a, t- to me, that's a, that's a pessimistic way of viewing things. I understand it. And, and, and I, I, I get it, but to me, that's heartbreaking. Because I'm not saying we, we have to own one another, but to say we borrow one another's time or something to that effect, I understand the logic behind it, but it's still, I can't help but feel like, no, in life, 
we we go throughout our journeys and, and we're looking for the person that's ultimately our family, but we wasn't born, but we don't have the same blood. You get what I'm saying? I'm looking for mm-hmm. I'm looking for my significant other to be my family, to to to, mm-hmm. to raise and 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 we might not have the same blood, but 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 ultimately we we have the same goals and we have the same vision and and, and the way we uh, uh, attack our ta- task management, you know, we're, we're in sync. So that family, like, you, you get what I'm saying? Y'all picking up on point yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. your it's your family that you made. Yes. Just like you know, our parents made a family. You know, all every, every, that's what you that's the goal as you get older is to make a family. And one thing that I noticed that why another reason I'm going to want my significant other to have a friend, a female friend close, is because a lot of people don't like seeing other people happy. Whoa, whoa, they- whoa, 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 whoa! Chill, Bambi. Chill, chill, chill. You heating up too fast. Hold on. That's a ball. A lot of times people don't want you to still... They don't like seeing a happy couple. They don't. And, you know, they don't. They don't like seeing a happy couple. And uh, some people don't. And some people do. Some people will be happy that, you know, that you're with someone that you're in love. I mean, me personally, I... I love when someone else finds love. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, Bambi. I'm going to cut your wisdom, Queen. And I'm so sorry because I'm going to forget this point. Some people... Some people want you to be underneath the like so let's say you dating let's say let's say you dating um joe biden then then your girl come along and say she's dating you don't want your girl to date barack obama so some people don't want you to date better than the person that they dating better than you, do you get what i'm saying right there yeah uh i mean i get what you're saying but uh yeah i do that's competitive ish but that's also very like materialism but yeah people it are is. like that people that, are that's very that. shallow or or, or, shallow, or, yeah. or they see that your significant other is making them more happy than the other person so that is that that forges some type of hate right there so the thing that's being shared isn't always genuine i'm telling you i'll be knowing the fuck i'm talking about y'all do what y'all want with it y'all listen to this podcast and y'all take what i say <laughs> y'all <laughs> oh, anyway go well, ahead i feel like you, you should be humble with your love you know what i mean like yes. i'm not you got to be humble with you can't be putting because you never know if someone just had a broken heart, things like that. You know what I mean? Like if you it, it, you got to be careful, you can't just be boastful and you just it's not it's not polite for me. It's not polite. OK, so 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 here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I don't give two shits about being polite. <laughs> mm-hmm. You, you know how long it took me to find my significant other? What we talking about? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be shy. I'm not going to be coy mm-hmm. about no yeah. shit like that. You hear me? You know what we did to... You, you know the shit that we done mm-hmm. went through to get to be in the place that we are in right now? Why am I going to be... Why am I going to conceal that and keep it to myself? Are mm-hmm. you Are you dumb? What Remy said? So I think a lot mm-hmm. of times... Y'all going to have me bust these stitches. I think a lot of times we try to be... Be hunting and nothing to the humble and the meat characteristics. I think that's golden. But me, yeah, what, 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 what 50 Cent said, me, I'm a little more flashier nigga. So chances are, I'm going to have to pass me a nigga. What I'm saying is, is, in layman's terms, is I worked the hardest I've ever worked in my life to get these pair of sneakers, this car, this house. Mm-hmm. I don't went to I don't went to, to to Egypt to find an alpaca to to have shit back to my country in America in, in in Jersey somewhere to have laid on my floor. You don't know what I went through to have and gain the shit that I have. So now when I have it and I might be a little bit boastful about it, just hold that. Because you don't know what I went through to get this woman. You don't know. I don't know what you went through to get that man. I don't know what you and that man went through to be here today. Wake it up. Yeah. No, I get yeah. what you're saying. I get what you're saying. So I'm just saying that, you know, it's 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 cool to be it's it's I'm cool with being humble when everybody else being humble. When everybody else start popping shit, I'm gonna put everybody everybody that's popping the biggest shit, I'm gonna I'm gonna silence them all. Well, it's competition. Well, that's it's, it's cutthroat. Thing, I think. I think <laughs> I'm sorry, thing. Bambi. I went on a whole rant. That might be a New York thing, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> but it's competition is cutthroat. Their partner, 
and their significant other. New Yorkers do like to do that. Yeah. Well, well, well. In general, it's, it's cutthroat though. It's competition. Like if you if you sit around and wait for somebody, or you you want to be humble, you might just lose out. So the thing is, I'm not letting nobody come in into my house and do do anything. I ain't giving you a sliver. I ain't giving you a, an inch. I ain't giving you anything. I'm I'm gonna make sure that my woman is pleased to, to the best of my ability. I'm gonna make sure I do everything I got to do. Cause guess what? If you if you decide to walk away from this, you're not gonna find anything better than this. This is what I got, and I know what I bring. Say I that shit with your chest. <laughs> so I, no, nobody's coming in, and, and, and it's going to be able to do what I'm doing because mm. I know what type of man I am. I know what I know what kind of value I bring to my mm. woman's life. Jesus, I know what I know all the. I know I know what I put in. I know what I taught her. Yeah, she could regurgitate what I taught. I know what I know everything about it. The ins, outs, the do's, the don'ts. Yes. So everything. So you you're gonna ha- inevitably have an imprint of me. When you get with this woman, mm. you know what I'm saying? Because inevitably have an imprint of me when you get with this woman. Poetry. Mm-hmm. So I'm not worried about it. Like, you know, like I said, I agree with you on the other points as far as um, them being family. Don't get me wrong. I love my wife. I love my wife and I and, and, and I and I hold her close. But I I do. I do everything that I can to make sure that we can have a healthy relationship. That's sure. what I'm trying to keep it to. Sure. I'm trying to keep it to healthy because it's plenty of people out here that that's not in healthy relationships at all, man, and and don't know how to love in moderation, yo. Um, Trey Trey one one two a she said on and she she said on Instagram she said Blade did stand in front of his new relationship. He posted her up and made it known. Yep, my boyfriend. Yep, my yep, my boyfriend and we outside. I ain't mad at it. Listen, live on Broadway podcast. Let me play this clip again for you guys that haven't heard it. You guys that's just joining. We having a conversation about Blair Underwood. Can you turn a friend into a relationship? Tap in with us. Live on Broadway podcast. Let's get to it. Y'all remember all that shit that y'all was talking about how it's insecure for you to not want your partner to be friends with the opposite sex? Well, this is a clear case. Blair Underwood marries his best friend of 40 plus years a year after divorcing his wife of 27 years. Now, I'm not saying that she's the cause of their divorce, but I can guarantee you that every time he was having issues with his wife, he was running directly to her. And he didn't just marry his friend because she was there for him. He also married her because he was attracted to her. And you don't just gain attraction for people overnight unless they have something to offer you. Now, you can be oblivious if you want to, but as for me and my house, either you're going to be with me or you're going to be with your female friend. But you can't have both. Peace. Wow. 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 <sighs> Man, uh, um... Go, um, hold, um, I'm going to give it to you, Bambi. Then I'm coming to Clubhouse. Tap in, Bambi. Well, his wife probably already had an idea, but that's too bad for her, you know? But sometimes love is funny that way. You see... But that's the, just too bad for her. The, the thing about love is people say you can't help who you love. I hate that statement. Let me just be honest with you. I emphatically disagree with that. You can't help who you love. Because I've never seen anybody in life, and I don't care what they tell you, ladies, a lot of times niggas be saying things to y'all just to make you feel special. I never heard or seen a man walk into a room and just literally fall in love with a person without getting to know them first. You might be interested in them. You might think that they're the most attractive person you've ever seen, right? Yeah, all those things are are fully fully possible. But, excuse me. You can, we can help who we love. The reason and way that we found, fall in love with somebody is by getting to know them, by having conversations, by having similarities, by having the same um, agenda in life, right? Or whatever in that moment. This is how you fall in love with people. This isn't what Broadway is saying. This is what I've interviewed tons and tons of people and listened to how they fell in love. And even if you did the same market research, you'll see the same thing. The market share suggests that you can... Choose who you love. So my question then becomes to you all, where does that saying come from? And is it a load of shit? Or how do you guys feel about it? Can you choose who you love? Tap in with us. Live on Broadway Podcast. I'm going to Clubhouse first. Uh, Chantel, are you by your mic, Queen? Yeah, I'm by my mic. What's up, y'all? 
Hey, Shantae. Um, can you choose who you love? Y'all can hear me? Loud and clear, what's Queen. What's up, O? What's up, B? Are we? Um, I'm going to be honest. Um, My best friend, my husband, like, we were friends for, like, five or six years. And I watched him date mad chicks. And he's seen me in a few situations. And then we wound up getting together. So, I guess... um. The relationship that I was in prior, he used to always say, like, you know, he had a feeling that one day we would we would deal with each other, but I never seen it, but it just happens. So freeze frame. Freeze frame. Freeze I guess frame. it's safe to say. Uh-huh. Freeze frame. Because we just had this conversation. I don't know if you he was here or, this, or we had it right before you walked in. About Probably before I walked in. When a man and a woman, somebody likes uh-huh. somebody. Now, somebody uh-huh. probably got curved and is taking the second place. Somebody, you probably liked him, or it sounds like he liked you and knew that y'all, y'all two would end up together, but he was just cool playing his position for the time being until perhaps something else uh, 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 presented itself. I'm going to be real. I don't think that's the situation. I okay. think both of us were just on our bullshit, and okay. we were just doing what we do, and then we just kind of just came back around and just was like, yo, like he was telling me his problems, I was telling him my problems, and then... The situation just turned into like, you know what, you know, I'm feeling you, you feeling me, and one drunk night <laughs> led to a relationship. So Shantae, and of having a daughter. Shantae, Shantae, I'm listening. I'm, I'm looking directly <laughs> at you. I want you to know this, right? <laughs> so, 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 what, what's, what's, um, pause. What's, what's, what's the most beautiful attribute about him that you like? His, 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 his skin, his eyes, his lips, his nose, his height. What, what is it that you really like about him? Um, everything. It was everything. It, right, was, cool. it was the fact that he actually. No, you know what it was. I, I got you know you. what it was. No, I'm gonna keep it above. So, Aside from his actual appeal, mm-hmm. it was the fact that he actually listened to me. Most people hear me, okay. but he was listening to me. Like so, I would say certain stuff, and he would compliment me or pay attention. He was really like detail oriented. So that's what really got me to kind of let my guard down. You know. So so that one drunk night in paradise. Hello. <laughs> you never. <laughs> you never. I like the way you said that. <laughs> you 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 never you never looked at him and said, "Damn, this nigga, he just listened to me. This nigga just listened to me differently." You never Back said. So, you, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a bug. You never. You never just said. I'm gonna like, keep it a bug. Yes. Like, right. You know. So 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 you wasn't was wait, checking I'm for him real, before the relationship. I was, for, I was waiting for my moment, and I'm sure he was waiting for his moment too. But we wouldn't cross boundaries. Like get off my phone, Shantae. I was fucking. Who I was fucking with, and you know, we two New York people, and we on our bullshit, and so we just like, yo, like, you fucking with a bozo, and I'm fucking with a bozo, nigga, let's do what we doing. We did it, and Y'all we not gonna come on this podcast and ever tell me different that Broadway don't know what he be talking about. I just said this. <laughs> you definitely be cooking. <laughs> I'm just, I just... But anyway, I, I respect it. I'm, I'm happy that you guys, you know, ended up together, went the distance to go get married, so forth and so on. I applaud it. We applaud it. We love love on LOBP, and it looks amazing on you. Sidebar, I love the blonde hair. Wake that up. Um, Oren, tap in with me, King. Um, have you? No, 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 I don't want no smoke with, with, with Mr. Shantae. Um, Oren, tap in with me, King. <laughs> What up, what up? Um, I like the way you said that. Um, have you, uh, uh, damn it, Shantae, you got me, got me, you know, made me forget the question. Um, <laughs> somebody reset the room. T- uh, somebody, Allison, something, somebody, god damn it. Somebody you know. reset it right. I'm a double park right here. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to take over the stage. Let me double park right no, here. No, no, no. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> well, thank you for answering, Shantae. Um, yes, ma'am. Orman, are you by your mic? Yeah. What's good? Um, so the question is, uh, have you ever has uh, spun the block and turned a friendship into a relationship? Yeah, definitely. I think the friendship. How does that go? I think it's it's better the way 
because if you're friends first, you know the person, and you actually like the person, you want to be in a relationship with that person. Well, here's the real question, Oren. Okay. Who's this, who's this little baby in in in, in your PTR right here? Here's the real question. Oh, that's that's my nephew. That's your nephew. So, so, so this, yeah. so is that your nephew? Is that your nephew or your nephew? Did you have a baby with your friend and you calling this your nephew? No, 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 no. All right, cool. I'm, I'm just. Not, if I had a baby, I'm not saying I have no baby. I'm nah. just messing with you. Oh, I'm just messing with nah, you. I know, I know. Um, yeah, so so listen, let's 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 step into final thoughts, final thoughts, final thoughts. Live on Broadway podcast. Y'all know what we do around here. Um, I'm gonna play this clip one more time. And I wanna spin the room. I'm gonna go on the Instagram first, get it from my guy at Quell. And I want you guys to tap in and lend us your final thoughts. Tap in, hit that like button, hit that like button on YouTube. Please thank you in advance. Uh, I appreciate you guys getting through this mouth with me. Pause. Um, tap in with us. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. I'm going to play this clip one more again. Tap in with us, though. Here we go. Y'all remember all that shit that y'all was talking about, how it's insecure for you to not want your partner to be friends with the opposite sex? Well, this is a clear case. Blair Underwood marries his best friend of 40 plus years a year after divorcing his wife of 27 years. Now, I'm not saying that she's the cause of their divorce, but I can guarantee you that every time he was having issues with his wife, he was running directly to her. And he didn't just marry his friend because she was there for him. He also married her because he was attracted to her. And you don't just gain attraction for people overnight unless they have something to offer you. Now, you can be oblivious if you want to, but as for me and my house, Either you're going to be with me or you're going to be with your female friend. But you can't have both. Peace. Final thoughts, final thoughts. Aquel, how you feel, beloved? Final man, thoughts, good. King. I'm good. So so the thing that I would say, man, is let's not let's not be fools. Let's not act like uh that like um, mm. we, we that we don't find people attractive and and sometimes we 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 do malicious things at times. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, sometimes like you, you look, you, it just maybe a moment you like, oh man, this person is amazing and they look good, and you know, mm-hmm. but you may think about it and you're like, but this person just it's, it's just something about their character that doesn't fit with what I'm doing in my life. Yeah, you got those people in your life where you know I can't go there with them because they just because of how their attitude is, or you mm. hear or you see how they talk to certain people, or you see how they're in relationship. So let's be honest about what about people and about relationships and about what friendships are because I think that's the biggest thing is us loosely using the word friend to apply to every single thing wow. in life. Point blank, period. Like uh, a friend, you had to go through trials, tribulations. They had to be tested. And it, it, a lot of people that we're hanging around are just associates and people that we meet and, and, and seasonal people that we meet. So let's let's change the word friend because I, I don't use that loosely. I, I can count my friends on my hand. And I, and we just need to change that, that perspective. And that's all I got on it because friends are there in adversity. And, and in the Bible, it says that a friend sticketh closer than a brother. So like sometimes your your friends will be closer to your own family members. So let's let's stop using the word friend so loosely and let's learn to 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 put everything, like you said, in its proper place and perspective. I love that. I love that. A lot of times people use the word friend too loosely. Shout out to my guy at Quell. Uh DWI Clubhouse, tap in with me, please. Please, please, please tap in with me, Clubhouse. That was that that was magical All though. Right. Go for it, D. All right, so um, final thoughts. Final thoughts, King. Live, live, and let live, and let's let's not act like Brad Underwood wasn't the man and ain't, ain't always been the man. So let's not let's just wake that up. I right? he could move and do whatever you want to do. And I'm just saying, like he was in lots wake of movies. You know, what I mean? he, he we ain't talking about the average Joe just moving on. Like he's a whole celebrity. Like you know, that, that, that it happens every day. Who did it? What's her name done? Spun the block and married homeboy, right? Who? <laughs> Didn't Jennifer Lopez spin the block and four marriages later went back to Ben Aff- I mean, um, yeah, Ben Affleck and now they happy. Me. Like, stop it. Like, she she taught me so much. I'm good. Like, women, they do what they do when they want to do it. And um, men, we should move accordingly. Um, you know what Snoop said? Your, your bitch chose me. 
Yo, he's he, yo, he's getting more. He's getting more toxic as the podcast go along. I don't know. If- <laughs> I'm glad you said it. I just think he took the out of my mouth. <laughs> yo, D, hey, D, I'm not going to shame you. That's because Luna I'm, and Shantae came. Listen, I'm very- What? Pr- no, D, no, fuck that. D, I'm very proud of you and your toxic and your toxicity. Nah. I love it. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, D. I am proud of you, my brother, for gaining more toxic. I need toxic. a woman to come tame me. Mm-hmm. I need to Wait, come and shut what? me up. I'm put something in my mouth. Yo, not the, not the not the Balenciaga, oh. not the Balenciaga, bit. Oh. Easy on Balenciaga. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh god, oh god. Um, listen, man. Uh, uh, Orin, tap in. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Oh, my bad. I skipped Allison. Allison, final thoughts, Queen. Yes, Queen. Burn that thing. You need it. <laughs> mm. Hey, y'all. Um, so my final thoughts is. Um, Sometimes the best relationship comes from a friendship. Um, they know you the best. They know exactly what you're capable of. They know the pros and cons of being with you. Um, but the, the the fact of the matter and the root of the matter is that we need to find friendship in the relationship that we're in. Mm. Because it's best that the person likes you as well as loves you. Hello. That's it. Nope. Say it again. Sometimes you you need to find the friendship in the. Re- <laughs> Sometimes it's best to find the friendship in the relationship because it's better when your friend likes you when your really when your partner likes you as well as loves you. Sometimes. I don't know. You're going to have a hard one to follow after that one, Oren and D. Tap in with us. Um, Oren, final thoughts, King. I love that, though, uh, okay, Allison. Thank you. Thank, you. Okay. Thank, thank you for that, Allison. Oren, let me guess. You need us to come back to you? No, no, no. All right. I'm just saying that I agree with Allison because it's one thing to go on dates with someone that you just met and get to know them and see after some time if it's compatible or not when you already know the person well you're friends with, per- with the person that's a lot better you already know like what you want you already know the person they know you you know mm, yeah yeah no absolutely absolutely um, what she said what she said right D Lopez one time for the one time King yeah yeah I definitely agree with Allison but Maybe Blake should have tried that with his wife, or maybe maybe it ran its course, and he chose the one that he was spending more time befriending. So it's interesting because when Allison was saying that, I was like, if he would have found the friendship with his wife, he wouldn't uh, end up being with uh, his best friend a year later. Just some thoughts that I, that I thought of um, in this conversation. Very powerful point. I can agree. Very, I can agree. Very powerful point. Shantae, final thoughts, Queen. Um, be patient. You know, sometimes that um relationship mm. is just sitting right there waiting mm. for you to grab more to it. And mm. um, you know, you just gotta do what you do, you know. Just mm-hmm. try to be open, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, things happen the way they supposed to happen. Shit mm. gonna go together. What she said. What she said. <laughs> what she said. Be patient. <laughs> be patient. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> More oh. like, more like, hurry up and wait. More like, wait, what? Wait. Oh, okay, girl. Okay. <laughs> Yo, T, I'm, I'm okay, girl. 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 Okay, Hi, everyone. Greetings. I definitely feel like you can um, turn a friendship into a relationship. You just have to make sure that you're, you know what I mean? Hey, listen, it's, it's, it's real shit. You, you definitely just can. You just you. have to make sure. You got to make sure the foundation um, of your friendship is um, both of y'all have uh, a shared definition of what that is. Yeah. And just being honest and transparent 
with one another and from a communication standpoint you got because you got to realize even though that friendship can turn into a relationship the relationship may not always be um sustained in that space so you know if the relationship fails then the real true question is can you go back to that friendship you know which one is going to be the longer lasting one because there's been relationships that i've been in that we are no longer friends but there's also been relationships that i've been in where we're still friends as well too so you have to just figure out whether or not once you move into that relationship space is if that if you're no no longer going to operate in that relationship space can you then revert back to a friendship or it's all lost completely because you've evolved into that relationship and now you don't you no longer can be friends with that individual because of the harm or damage mm-hmm, done mm-hmm. in the relationship. So yes. it's tricky. Um, I I I love that Luna. Thank you for that Queen. I I, I love that. that that's a ball. I honestly feel as though you know you really never know. And and sometimes I don't. I mean. Call it what you want, but the real test of time is going to see if Blair Underwood and the fiance last as long as, excuse me, as long as him and his ex-wife did, right? That's going to be the real test of time. Uh, because sometimes, to, to, to what Luna, her point was, is sometimes you better off with being a friendship. Because once you get into the relationship, we don't know if that's actually going, going to hold up. Um, my final thought is, <clears throat> final thoughts on Broadway. I think that it's it's... You know, I, I'm an echo chamber for what a lot of you guys said in different aspects, right? I believe that, yes, it's cool to have opposite sex friends. I have opposite sex friends, right? But I don't have opposite sex friends. I'm not cool with my significant other having opposite sex friends because I have opposite sex friends. I just gen- genuinely am okay with it, right? However, I think that somebody else said it earlier that those friendships is cool, but 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 you can't be hanging and kicking it with them every fucking day. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm not cool with my with, with my lady, but I, I I say it, but I also demand it of myself. I'm not cool with just kicking it with my homegirls every fucking day. I got a woman at home. I got a woman. I like to be with my woman. I like to be up under my woman. I like my woman up underneath me. You get that? So I'm. Tr- I got a best friend. I don't I don't have like my best friend is my significant other. I don't have like I have female friends and, and that's just that, but that's just that. You get what I'm saying? Um I think that it is possible to have opposite sex as friends. I think that it that, that is possible. I think like much things, like most things, everything needs boundaries. And the friendship side, the portion of that, well, needs boundaries, right? Um too much of anything. Is never good, <laughs> except when you with me, baby. Um, I appreciate you guys tapping in with us today, and and I know if, if my voice sound a little bit different, it's because these seventeen stitches in my mouth. Um, uh, I had oral surgery. Uh, having uh, hopefully in the next few weeks, I, I'll be back to normal for the season for the season finale of the pod. Uh, I haven't brushed my teeth in a week per uh, dentist request, right? Because the oral surgery, if I brush my teeth, then it probably gets a little bit crazy. What's happening with you, uh, 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 Miss B? <sighs> I say like this, guys. Um, enjoy your week. Uh, set intentions for your week. Be outside. Be motivated. Uh, make sure and be around the people that love you, not those that not, not those that tolerate you. Uh, it's very easy to get caught up in... in, in, in um, I'm sorry, bear with me. It's very easy to get caught up and be in the way, stay out the way, uh, love those that love you, put God first, and um, I appreciate you guys just being here with me tonight. You get me? Live on Broadway Podcast, we're going to have a topic about a topic about a topic after the pod on Clubhouse. Y'all know my vibe. Y'all watching us on YouTube. It's cheaper to be yourself. Be giant. Pool! Click! Relationship questions and need answers. Spicy topics? DM us at Live on Broadway Podcast. Have music, products, or an ad you want us to run? Email us at Live on Broadway Podcast. Be sure to tap, 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 tap in. Mondays, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Live on I am underscore Broadway's Instagram. Clear. <laughs>